And of course, the Greens had to choose a new leader today, and Adam Bant was unopposed as expected. He's just as extreme and nasty as Richard Di Natale, already talking about businesses killing people and even claiming that climate policies have, could have stopped our bushfires. The reason that so many people around the country at the moment are feeling angry is that in many respects this was all preventable. We've been warned for several decades that unless we get off coal, then we are going to start seeing fire seasons. But like to, to, to... Wow, this is what we have in our politics these days. This is the sort of loopy stuff around bushfires and climate that the ABC and others refuse to pick up and call out. He's saying that deeper emissions cuts by Australia could have cooled the global climate so dramatically that the hot, dry days and very bad fire threat we face every summer in Australia would not have happened. This is scientifically absurd and practically impossible and an absolute insult to everyone's intelligence. But he'll keep getting away with it, of course, and he'll keep pushing his so-called Green New Deal. We're in the middle of a climate emergency and long-running jobs and inequality crises, Bant tweeted today. People are angry and anxious because the government has no plan for the big problems facing this country. This is why Australia needs a Green New Deal. That deal might sound familiar. It's been pushed by the far left of the American Democrats and it's used by Bernie Sanders, the far left presidential nomination candidate dubbed a communist by Donald Trump yesterday. And just to highlight how nutty the climate wars are in Australia, there's another person who's been using this slogan. Former Liberal Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull has been writing in The Guardian that our priority this decade should be our own Green New Deal. Malcolm Turnbull and the Greens using the same slogans. Little wonder there was a ruckus in the Liberal Party room today with former Turnbull supporters lashing out at Senator Jim Molan over this pretty pointless exchange on the ABC last night. As to whether it is uh, human-induced climate change... <laughs> is... <laughs> thank you, thank you. As to whether it is human-induced climate change, my mind is open. But this what, is... This what, is, can, can, can this is please, just, come on, we could... Jim Molan there, making like a Christian, throwing himself, throwing himself into the lion's den. That was enough to create a human-induced overheating of the Liberal Party room today. Scott Morrison has got his work cut out keeping this lot on track.